I want to be passed around so bad, but my boyfriend just wants a monogamous relationship. It's 2024. Expecting to be with one person for your entire life is, like, unreasonable. I'm a young, 18-year-old Latina. I'm trying to get my face blasted by multiple men. Like, I haven't even had a quickie in a bathroom stall. I have so much to live for. And you're telling me that I have to stay with this one guy because I love him so much. But there's literally guys out there with 13-inch meats waiting to destroy me. It would just be so unfortunate if I were to go my whole entire life without getting piped by at least a hundred different people just to see who I like the most. I want to be passed around so bad, but my boyfriend... He don't got money like you at ESTG. Why don't he? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. That's why I got... Uh, had it. Uh. And just because he ain't got no money, you love him? Had to. That ain't right. I don't like that. If he's making more money than me, I mean, if I'm making more money than him, I don't... You man. should help him get some more money. I should, how am I going to do that, though? If I have my own career, I'm doing what I'm doing. Supposed to, a woman's supposed to be a helpmate. I feel like a man is supposed to be that for a girl. A man's supposed to be a leader. You right. You're supposed to help him be a better leader. So I was in the wrong. Now I'm the bad guy. I'm always the bad guy. Are you looking for a daddy? I ain't looking for a daddy. I got my own money. Mm -hmm. I got my own money. I could do what I do. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't need a guy for money. You want one? I want a man to be stable. If I was to leave him, I want him to so be... So he, he wasn't stable? Um, he was okay, but I was making more than him. So he was, well, he was stable, though. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. It's your brother Isari with the Pittsburgh GMS camp, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power behind Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hakodash. <coughs> Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Okay, uh, you know, lately I've been coming across a lot of clips. Of women, okay, um, basically <laughs> displaying how, okay, the society, okay, the freedoms that women have been afforded in the society have been actually detrimental to the woman, okay. Now, you kind of have this thing where, you know, women will, uh, be, uh, angry at you if you try to institute, you know, systems of control on them, you know, if you try to uh, uh, um, restrict them from doing certain things, okay, but the Bible has a way of speaking uh, about how you're supposed to treat your daughters in particular, you know, how, how they're supposed to be raised in order to keep their purity, in order to keep them from making bad decisions with their lives, okay, but... Here they're emboldened to, uh, you know, to do certain things that are that are uh, shameless. Okay, let's get this scripture here. Let's start here at uh, Ecclesiasticus or the Book of Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter twenty-six. And let's see, let's see if we're gonna start there or. Uh, yeah, verse 10, it says, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. Now, you know, I have two clips that I have in mind that are going to go in post production. All right. The first clip is this clip of us, this woman uh, talking about how much she wants to get uh, face blasted, you know, by, you know, multiple meats. OK, and she has these fantasies of wanting to go out and you know, get, 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 uh, hop on the, on the carousel and get, and get, and get drug, you know, <laughs> get, get drug out, however you want to say it. All right. And, and, um, you know, that's a shameless mindset. And it says here, let she abuse herself through over much liberty. <clears throat> okay. Watch uh, verse 11, watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. Okay. That word impudent means lack of having a lack of respect for someone or something. Okay. So, you know, it says marvel not if this woman, whether she be your daughter or your wife, okay, if she has no respect for you, don't marvel. Uh, uh, don't, don't be surprised if she uh, 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 trespasses against you. Okay. 
It says she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he hath found a fountain and drink of every water near her. But every by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. Right. So, you know, basically this is symbolically speaking of how, you know, there are certain women out there. OK. You know, from a majority standpoint. OK. Because you got to understand the uh, the wicked outnumber the righteous. OK. So this is the majority of women. All right. They will. Let's 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 break this down a little bit. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when she when he had found a fountain and drink of every water near her. Right. So, you know, she's going to <clears throat> any male. That will suffice her. She will drink of his water. She will, um, you know, you know, give in to that man. OK, by every hedge will she sit down and, and OK, so a man is supposed to be a protection. So, you know, she will jump from man to man by every hedge. OK, that she sees fit. She will sit down. OK, and it also says and open her quiver against every arrow and a quiver is a bag that contains uh, arrows, which are, you know, pointy shaft like items so you can get the imagery there okay the bible is raw sometimes okay so you know that's just one scripture where it says if thy daughter be shameless keep her in straightly so what is that saying that's saying don't let her don't give her the liberty okay to go about okay on her own free will that's what that's telling you man okay keep her in straightly uh, Sirach 26 and 25 says, yeah, let me go to it. Well, let's read 22. I might need to go up because just to make sure I didn't miss nothing. Sirach 26. And 22 says, an harlot will be accounted as spittle, but a married woman is a tower against death to her husband. Right. So a harlot, you know, a woman who wants to get her face blasted by multiple men, she will be counted as spittle. OK, when you hawk up a loogie and you spit it on the ground. <laughs> OK, you don't want that spit no more. You know, let's say you try to spit and that spit gets on something. It gets on your shirt. It gets on your car. You be pissed. You be looking like I need a napkin, nigga. Damn. Let me get this shit off me. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, so that's what uh, the, the mentality is of a harlot, of a, 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 a loose woman. Okay. She's spittle. She ain't shit. Right. Verse 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. So if you're if you're count if you're a female and you're accounted as a dog, what does that make you? What do they call a female dog? Okay, they call them a bitch. You know, that's not to say that. You know, you, you can't get offended by that. That's what it is. A female dog is the b word. Okay, and that's just speaking facts. It ain't like, you know, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> that's just what it is. Ecclesiastes forty and thirty. Uh, that ain't the one I want. Let's keep going. I'll read this. Damn. So Rock 42 and 11 says this. It says, keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter, lest she make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies and a byword in the city and a reproach among the people and make thee ashamed before the multitude. So, okay, so we're supposed to keep a sure watch. We're supposed to watch after her. Okay? Matter of fact, this is how it was, okay, in the past. Let's read verse 9 it's, uh, in that same chapter. It says, The father waketh for the daughter when no man knoweth, and the care for her taketh away sleep when she is young, lest she pass away the flower of her age, and being married, lest she should be hated OK. Verse 10, it says in her virginity, lest she should be defiled and gotten with child in her father's house and having an husband, lest she should misbehave herself. And when she is married, lest she should be barren. Right. So, 
And the, ooh, and there's more too. But anyway, <clears throat> okay, this is the the plight of the father. Okay, this is what a father goes through. You know, and the society got mad at Ti. Okay, when he was checking to make sure that his daughter uh, hadn't had sex before her time. All right, and made sure that she was still pure. You know, had her checked to make sure her hymen had not been broken. People were mad at Ti. And they said he was too controlling and things of this nature. But guess what? This is this is a biblical aspect of what you're supposed to do. You know, you're supposed to have a care for your daughter and make sure she's not defiled. OK, because this was a very important thing, especially in the ancient times. And don't say, oh, it's 2022. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Why do you think men keep asking about body counts? OK, because to these men, it matters. They want to know how many penises have been inside of you. OK, because it matters. Women receive, men men give, and women receive. And the more you receive, the nastier you're viewed. Okay, men don't want to, uh, men don't want leftovers. Okay, a man will play with your leftovers, but they, you know, typically don't hold it in a high value. Okay, speaking from a normal standpoint now, you know, there's very few people that have not had sex once they get into a certain age. Which is why in the ancient times it was so uh, 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 adamant on a father to uh, 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 have a care for their daughter. You know, and I really thought it was interesting seeing this clip. Okay, it's something I spoke about in my live stream that I did uh, yesterday. I believe it was yesterday. Uh, this video, and Lord willing, I'll post it. Okay, of this dude talking to this lady. This lady's bragging about how, you know, she was making more money than her. Her boyfriend at the time and she left him and everything like that and you know the dude basically kind of corrected her on her mindset and by the end of it she kind of looked foolish but as the scriptures say <laughs> i'll get it and this is essentially what she did okay you know because she was thinking the grass was greener okay ended here because there was another scripture that i could have read but you know proverbs 14 and 1 says every wise woman buildeth her house but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands in this society a woman is given the, the delusion that a man is supposed to add to her life and bring value to her life and you know basically be a help me to her and cater to her and her money is her money. I literally seen a clip of a literally seen a clip of a guy and a girl that was on a date. And they were both asked, How much money you got in your bank account? The dude was like, Oh, I got a couple hundred. The girl said, I got seventeen thousand or seventy thousand or some crazy number. And the dude was like, You just let me pay for all this expensive ass shit and you got seventeen or seventy thousand in your bank account? He was like, what the fuck? And she was like, well, yeah, you're supposed to pay for it. I don't matter. I don't care how much money I got. I'm going to let you pay, nigga. And I was just like, damn, you know, and, and there's not this mentality of helping out anymore. Women are not groomed to be a help me anymore or to expect to have to assist the man in any way. OK, women today are, are groomed to uh, get what they want out of a man. And whatever that and then when that man can't provide for them uh, what they want or whatever the case is, you know, if you can't buy them, they bags or it don't matter if you or if you let, let's even say this. If you fall on hard times, like in the book of uh, Tobit, I believe Tobit fell on hard times where he was uh, disabled. I think he was blinded <coughs> for a time and uh, his wife. It was up to his wife to help out. Okay. And she did what she did and everything. Um, most women in that position would leave. They would forsake their husbands. You know, because they're given that power to do so. They would, oh, nigga, you can't, you know. Uh, you hear the stories all the time. Uh, there's there's a one testimony I see all the time. Where this girl's like, yeah, I didn't have shit. I was broke. I was busted. I was disgusted. This, this nigga put me through uh, medical school and everything like that but when he fell on hard times i left him and she said yeah i ain't taking care of no grown man you know that's you know how messed up that is that he you know he went through all that he put you up brought you up to a level 
And when the shoe was on the other foot, you know, you were not, you know, your uh, lack of uh, help meet uh, uh, qualities sh uh, were showing at that time. So anyway, uh, this is just like I said, stuff that I've been seeing a lot. So I decided to go ahead and do a lesson on it. I got another lesson that I got planned. Oh, Lord, what well, I can do it soon. So I'm going to end it there. I'm going to give my honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shabbat Shem, Rechah Kudash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations, to the hopeful elect. Shalom, Kwame, Shalom.